Now to our THP 11 morning original. These are stories you won't see anywhere else. And this morning we are proud to launch a new series here on Wake Up Central. It's called Mind Matters and it will focus on mental health. Michael Aaron joining us again. And Michael, this is a personal mission of yours. Yeah, Amanda, it sure is. You know, the CDC estimates about one in five people struggle with mental illness any given year. I'm one of those people. You might remember that we talked about that during Mental Health Awareness Month back in May, and I pledged then to keep the conversation going. So here we go. We're making it a point to share mental health stories and advice from experts. It's a reminder that if you're struggling, you're not alone. And this morning we start with a simple question that has a rather complicated answer. What is mental illness? It's one of those taboo topics. Dr. Buster Lackey is on a mission to talk about something a lot of people simply don't want to talk about out of sight, out of mind, mental health. We've got to break the stigma and we've got to start talking about it. Lackey is executive director of the National Alliance on Mental Illness or NAMI Arkansas, a statewide mental health agency providing resources, referrals and education for people suffering with mental illness and their families. If we don't start talking about it, you know, all we're doing is just pushing it down under the rug or whatever and People were hiding it and it's not doing anybody any good. He says discussing mental illness and addressing it starts with understanding what it is. Mental illness is the health condition that affects the psychological and um, uh, behavior of our everyday life. And mental illnesses take many forms, phobias, depression, and anxiety to more severe conditions like schizophrenia and personality disorders. Every diagnosis has a different set of symptoms. Lackey urges anyone who thinks they're experiencing symptoms of mental illness to ask for help. Knowing is half the battle. Because diagnosis leads to treatment. Mental illness is no different than, you know, having a kidney problem or a, I don't know, heart problem or a breathing problem. You just got to get it treated and, and get help for it and, you know, figure out how to, to, to manage the symptoms and live your life. And quite frankly, that's why we're talking about this, because that's possible once you start managing those symptoms. But if you think you or someone you love is in a mental health crisis right now, there are plenty of options. You can go to an emergency room in, in anywhere in Arkansas. Next Monday, we're going to talk more about taking the steps toward treatment. But we heard him say this, and I just want to reiterate that we've got to break the stigma. And part mm -hmm. of that starts with just realizing that having a mental illness does not mean you're crazy. That's right. right. And I really like how they say you would go to a doctor to treat, you know, something wrong with your arm or treat something wrong with your leg. You know, you go to the doctor if you're not feeling well. Well, that doesn't change when it's here. Well, right. and it's hard because it's not quantitative. You can't get a blood test and see right. certain levels and be like, well, you have this. It's all, you know, something you have to talk through and right. work through and it takes time. But we want to keep this going. It's going to be a weekly series, so we're excited about that. So uh, find me on social media if you have ideas, have questions. And if you're in a crisis right now, you can text the word HELP to 501-376-1111. We'll send a link to your phone with resources. Again, that's the word HELP. And uh, yeah. Just keep the combo going. This is so important. It's important. It's, it, you break the stigma by being willing to talk about it, so I'm really proud of you for, mm -hmm. for doing this. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to do it. All right, it. let's get out to Scott.